Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about MedPoster AI. This is our latest AI developed software that takes advantage of the medium.com platform to rank your content. In fact, we just launched a new part of this called Amazon Product Reviews. That works insanely well. You can see here for this keyword, we are ranked for uh, one of our products here underneath the videos and even above people also asked just three weeks ago, here is another one where we're ranked for uh, a post hole digger. And then we have another one here, which we are ranked at the very top of Google. Now I have a lot of medium accounts. This one is just a test account that I'm using, but many of my other accounts that I have, they are not test accounts and I actually use them. And we are getting sales from Amazon and other product reviews that we're doing because of these types of rankings that we get. And now that we added this latest feature for Amazon, it has changed the game entirely. So what I want to do now is show you this new feature that we've added called Amazon product reviews. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to automate the entire process of generating product reviews from Amazon and posting them to your medium accounts on a schedule and even getting real human interaction to them. Now, keep in mind, Medium does not like you to spam it with uh, articles and affiliate links. I have been doing this now for over three weeks, posting about three posts a day of Amazon product reviews. And so far, my account is great and I'm getting a lot of traffic. I've actually made a couple sales and more than half of the posts that I've made are ranking on the first page of Google, many of them in the top three. So what I recommend is if you want to build an authority medium account, don't use this feature because when you use this, it does increase your chances of your account getting suspended because of all the affiliate links and promotions you're doing. And we mentioned that right here when you select the option for Amazon product reviews. So the way you do this is number one, you're going to give it a name. You're going to fill everything out the same way, but you're going to notice down here now there's a section called link injection and this is where you're going to manage your links your affiliate links or whatever you want to use once again you have to tick this box knowing that this can increase the risk of your account being flagged or suspended so i'm going to go ahead and tick this box and we can see here we have a section now for amazon now when i click this box here it's going to show me all my affiliate ids for amazon that i have entered here i don't have any right now so what i want to do is come over here and click this plus sign and I wanna enter one of my affiliate IDs that I use here. So whatever your affiliate ID is for your Amazon account, that's what you wanna put here. Mine is medposter-20. All of these, all of your accounts, your ID should end with a dash 20. I'm gonna click on create, and it's gonna add that now to the dropdowns. So whenever we click this dropdown, it should show all the ones that we have. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. You can choose your Amazon domain. I'm gonna keep it as .com. What, what I want to do is before we go down here and uh, go over all these different options for links is up here in your keyword and URL box, you have to paste your URLs, your Amazon URLs. I'm going to show you the different ways you can do that. So first of all, we're going to give it a name. Let's say I want to do something like computer printers. We'll just title it printers. And then if we jump over here to Amazon, you can see that I'm on a page here for a printer. And what I can do is I can copy this full URL up here. But what I like to do, cause I don't like all the extra uh, text they put on it. So what I'll do is come up here and just copy the part that's after the actual product ID, which always is uh, DP slash and then the ID. So I'll just copy this part and then we'll come back over here and paste it in the keyword URL box. And so this will give me one product review. Now I can do this over and over with different products. So let's say I have maybe 20 different specific printers I wanna review. I can paste each link here on a separate line and it's gonna go through and do each one of those. Now the other option, and this is the one that I use on my accounts, is I will go to Amazon and just do a search. So for this one, I did a search for the term printer. And if we scroll down through here, you can see it's just printer after printer. And so what we can do with this option is we can actually copy this URL. And for this one, I'm going to copy, you can, once again, you can take this whole URL and use it if you're, if you don't know what part of it to copy or not, but I like to copy just the part of it that I need. And I'm going to do this one here, which is the search for the keyword printer. I'm going to jump back to my campaigns and paste that link in here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create product reviews for every printer on this page. And let's say, for example, there are 20 printers on this page. 
So I can come down here on this page and I can print or I can put here for the total number of posts to create 20 and it would make one product review of every one of those printers. What I could also do is set this to 100 and what this is going to do is it is going to actually go to the next page and then the next page and the next page until it gets to 100 printers and it's going to make product reviews of every one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like this and then we're going to come down to the link injection section. This is ticked. I have my Amazon ID here. And if you don't want to use Amazon affiliate links, you can override those and use your own links by ticking this box here and adding your own links. I'm not going to do that. There's no reason for me to do that with Amazon. But here is your link uh, anchor button. So you can have it create buttons and put on there. I don't recommend you do that because that's going to bring too much attention to your actual affiliate links, which can hurt you. So I don't do this option. And what I do is for max anchor link count, either do one or two. If you choose one, you can choose where you want it to be at. You want it at the top of the page, after the intro, somewhere in the middle or at the bottom. Now, if you do two, that option goes away and it will randomly put two links in two different places on your post. So what I like to do is just do one and I'll do after the intro. So it's near the top of the content. And then down here under add your own anchor text, it does have some options. So you can leave this here if you want. But to me, this sells too uh, salesy, too much like a promotion. So I'm going to delete these. And what I'm going to do is add my own link anchor text here. And I'm going to do that by using chat GPT. So I'm going to come down here to this box and put in I need 20 variations of this text. Click here to view the product on Amazon. And this is a little bit different. It's actually giving me two different responses for it. And what I want to do now, I'll just go ahead and say this one here. So I'll click on response one and then I'm going to copy all of these and go back and paste them in here. And what this is going to do is shuffle through these each time it makes a post and uses one of these. Scrolling on down, you can add a medium disclosure. You can add an Amazon disclosure text if that makes you feel more comfortable. Amazon does prefer that you do this. I'm not going to do that either. And then you can continue by adding video embeds and images. And so with video embeds, one thing you got to be cautious about, and this is regardless of whether you're doing an Amazon product review or any type of article, is that sometimes depending on what your article is, you may not find a video on it. And if you don't find a video, it's going to put a random video on your article, which may not have nothing to do with what your article is about. So just keep an eye on that as you're creating your content with most products. If they're well known on Amazon, there's going to be product reviews for them. And so videos will be related to your posts. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. And then under this, I'm going to use Amazon product images. And then down here, how many of them do I want to use? Well, I'm just going to use three. And then for the GPT model, the settings I always use, which we do have also the 4.0 mini now, if you want to use that, I'm going to use the 4.0 for now. And then point of view, first person, that way it's coming more like it's an actual review from myself. Tone of voice, I'm going to do conversational. The AI persona, I'm going to use David Sedaris and the content length. I'm just keeping this the way it is because the length is never guaranteed. AI is not very good with understanding content length. And then I'm not going to add any custom text in the articles. I'm going to have it to go through and create a hundred different reviews and then I can schedule it out. And so what I do with most of mine is I will do either two or three every day. But remember, the more of these you do, the more risk you're putting your account in. So for me, uh, I've just created a lot of different medium accounts and I'm just throwing these all up on these different accounts. I'm getting a lot of rankings and a lot of traffic from them. So you can take advantage of that if you want to. But like I said earlier, if you're wanting to create more of an authority type account that you don't want suspended, then you may want to rethink using the Amazon type feature for medium. We're just going to go ahead and do three every day. And then this option here, create content un only for unique items. So if you have other campaigns running in your account and if they are doing the same product reviews, you can tick this box. And what this is going to do is it will not make another review for a product that you're already reviewing from another campaign. So you can do that if you want to. I'm going to leave this unticked and then we can post it to medium. I'm going to make it public. I'm going to auto generate some tags and then I'm going to create it.
Now, if I jump over to my content here, you can see that all these are now scheduled out. So I got page after page of content that is scheduled out five days from now, six days from now, and so forth until it reaches a hundred posts. So uh, we're going to give this a minute and it's going to go ahead and create one of these for us and we'll look at it and see what it looks like. And you can see right now it's only been about a minute and this first one here is already processing. While that's processing, I'm going to go ahead and run this one. And so this one's published, one's processing. Let's go ahead into this one that got published and see what it looks like on my account. So you can see this one just now got posted and it has the main keyword in the title. It has the main keyword here in the subtitle and then down here it also uh, talks more about it. You can see where it has the main keyword written in here. He's talking in first person. I also imagined it would magically teleport my friend Kevin's tax returns to a lost. And so this is really comical the way this persona talks, which is one reason why I like using him. So if people starts reading the article, they're most likely going to keep reading the article. And so we go on down through here and you can see here's our first subtitle. And then here we have the full title of it again, which is great. We got our first image and then right under it, it used one of our links here. It says purchase on Amazon. Scrolling on down our video embedded here. This is the 2855E model. And this one is the 2855E. So it did match this one up perfectly. And you can see down here, there's a second image and the third image and then the rest of the content. And then you can just let this go. Now you can also, like I showed you in the campaigns, you can set it up to where there's more than one link in the content, but I'm just afraid that the more links you do, the much more likely you're at risk for getting your account suspended, which is why I'm only using one link per article. If you wanna test it out yourself, you're more welcome to. But that's how you use the Amazon campaigns. Super easy to do. And once you set it up, you just let it run. And the other thing I'm going to recommend you do is to use the MedPoster Boost, especially if you have a new account, but don't do very many. You can set this up because you're having two to three articles being added every single day. You can set this up. Let me go ahead and log in. And if we do a new campaign here, uh, it's going to ask us here to give it a name. I'll just call it printers the same as before. And the only thing I wanted to do is clap and follow. And then I'm going to jump back over to this account and click on Baldwin. And so this is his account here. I'm going to copy this link and paste it in here. So when I do this, what's going to happen is these readers are going to come to this page every day and they're going to go through one of these first three or four articles and they're going to clap it and then follow your account. You can see this one's got 230 followers right now. This is actually just a test account that I set up, but it is still going. And then what you can do here is under limit, you could set this at like a hundred and you could do say maybe five a day. So if you do this, this is going to run for 20 days. Every day, you're going to have five new people coming to this page and they're going to look through these last two or three posts, click on it. They're going to clap and follow, which is going to give almost every one of your articles some claps and some follows, which is going to build authority and help them to rank a lot better. I also want to show you real quick how well these rank in Google. So if I do a search here for my medium account, which is medium.com forward slash at then my account name, you can see all of these articles that got indexed. And if we check some of these here, uh, this one here is uh, here's the search for it. And then you scroll down and I'm right here underneath the videos. And then for this keyword, if we scroll down first page right here, and there's actually another one right here on my account. And then for this one, we are right here. For this one, we are actually at the top right underneath of Amazon. And then for this one, once again, right here near the top. And you can see just all of these where we are ranked. Here's one, here's another one right here. And then we'll do this one here, the last one, a 52cc post hole digger review. And there we are for this one. So yes, these do rank and they do definitely get traffic.